Hello, Cup of Joy family. Welcome, my brothers. Welcome, my sisters. My name is Christine. I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful day. This is the afternoon edition. Normally, I like to start things off in the morning, get us ready for the day. But things went a little differently today, but that's okay. We just continue to roll with it and continue to enjoy this day that the Lord has made. So before we go on today's message, let's start out with a prayer. Let's continue to give God what is His. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us with another day to experience your creation. Thank you for another day to be able to experience your joy, your peace, your love, Lord. Even if we may not see it, we know that we are loved by you. We know what it is that you have called us to be. We know what it is that you have called us to do. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you for sending your reminders. We thank you for just showing us your presence, whether it be in the, the color of the sky or the animals that we see going by us, or even just when we look in the mirror, Lord, we're able to see what it is that you've created, something so beautiful, something so loving. And Lord, I pray that those listening to this message have their ears open to you. I pray that they have their hearts open to you and their hearts open to receive the message that you have for them today. Lord, continue to take my ego out of this, take my words out of this, and, and just take over, Lord. People know what it is that you need to say. So, Lord, have your way with this today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. So there's two different scriptures that the Lord guided me to go to. The one he actually guided me to early on this morning at uh, 1228 a.m. And it was 2 Timothy 2.12. Now that's something he guides me to all the time for many reasons. And I'm going to read it again. So 2 Timothy 2.12, this is the NIV version. It says, if we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. So then I'm praying. I said, okay, God, well, what is it that you want me to share? What else is there? Do you want me to go over the chapter again? Or do you want me to, is there, is there another revelation you want me to give? Holy Spirit, I, I need your help. What is it you want me to say? So then he guided me to something else. It was Psalm 37, 39. And it says, But the saving of those who are right with God is from the Lord. He is their strength in time of trouble. Now, many of us are going through different challenges. Many of us are going through different things. But this is what he wanted me to write down. This is what he wanted me to share with you all. And it says, but this, oh, hold on. It says, my child, not everyone is going to understand the works I have you doing. Not everyone is going to appreciate or even validate the works I have done for you. My child, it is up to you to understand and know who you are in me. Know who it is I've created you to be. Know who it is your gifts come from. Know whom your father is. My child, not all works are easy. Some are more daunting than others. I want you to share with others that even though validation and love come from me alone, others are about to be that vessel and show you what it is that you so always deserve. Get ready for love. Get ready for happiness and continue to rest and joy despite the previous and current positions. Abba Yahweh, and then a heart. And then he also had me draw a little um, a crown on top of the heart as well. And then that full revelation, that full word, was received at 1.20 p.m. today, Monday, October 14th, 2024. And I think it's great how... We can still rest in joy despite what our circumstances are. We know that the joy comes from the Lord. And even in this message that he had me write down, that happiness is, a, is about to come, we know happiness isn't a constant thing. It's constantly fleeting. But something that we can rest in and stay in is God's peace, is God's love, is God's joy. And that lasts, that is so internal and when we, when we reflect on what it is that the Lord has done for us already that's how we can get back into being in that in that 
enjoy being in his presence. It's only when we step out of his presence is when we start to feel those negative feelings. Is when we can when we can find ourselves stuck in those feelings, stuck in anxiety, stuck in depression, stuck in sadness. It's okay to feel those because we are human, but to stay stuck in them, we don't have to. What we have to do is to reflect on the Lord, go back to his word, remind ourselves, okay, well, what has he done for us so far? What works has has he done for others? What can I hold on to? What can I count on? What, What are the Lord's promises? And we know that he's always with us no matter what, and that he sees us. He sees our works, even when others may not validate it, even when others may not appreciate it, even when others don't want to look at it and agree upon it, even when others may feel jealous of it. We cannot solely count on others' opinions. The one person, the one being, the one whom we are to fully count on and trust is God alone. And that is where we are to know who we are. That is to know what true love is. And so in this season, even if your works were not talked about, even if all of your time, all of your efforts were not acknowledged, know that God was there and he's seen them. He was with you while you were doing that. He was with you in the quiet place while you were preparing, while you were praying, while you were crying, while you were just diligently working, keeping your nose down in the book, down in his word. He saw you. I know that that work does not go in vain. So in this season, be prepared for others to be God's vessel. And they're going to show up in your life. And you're going to finally see that your works are validated in Him. You're finally going to hear others' words of love, of affirmation. You're finally going to reap your harvest in this season. Your work was not done in vain. So going throughout this day, continue to push forward, continue to endure, continue to acknowledge God's presence, for He is always with you. And know that He sees you, know that He hears you, and know His love is never ending for you. His agape love. So keep going. Keep pushing through this day. You can do it. You can do it. He sees you. And you're about to reap your harvest. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.